Developing now, South Florida Congresswoman Anna Stefano is now arrested and charged with defrauding the food banks feeding South Florida. Local 10's Rush Lowe live now in Medley with the details for us. Rush. And these are very disturbing allegations, Calvin, against this council person. Essentially this, it boils down to this point. The allegations, taking the stuff from people who really need it for your own profit. Stealing from the needy for your own profit. Those are the allegations against Medley Council person Anna Stefano, who has been charged with two felony counts after she defrauded the food bank feeding South Florida of an estimated $24,000 of food items, say prosecutors. She posted photos of people posing with boxes of food that she said was donated. But according to prosecutors, Stefano allegedly sold the food that was donated to the Santana Moss Foundation by feeding South Florida. The arrest warrant says she sold the food to area churches and charitable organizations. We went to the listed addresses of the Santana Moss Foundation but found no one there. At Medley Town Hall, there were also few answers, only the statement, quote, the town of Medley has no official statement. As to our knowledge, the alleged crimes are not associated with Councilperson Stefano's official elected position. Stefano is the executive director of the foundation, which was created in 2001 by 14-year NFL wide receiver Santana Moss. Prosecutors said Moss, who was a former student of Miami Carroll City Senior High School and a former University of Miami football star, created the foundation to help the youth of Carroll City by running sports clinics and other community programs. The prosecutors say Stefano took advantage of her role as executive director. Quote, allegedly defrauding a charity for one's own personal benefit can never find acceptance in this community, Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle said in a statement. Santana Moss, according to the warrant, had no idea this was going on and was surprised the foundation still existed. So these are some serious charges, felonies. As of last check, the council person remains behind bars. We understand she has posted bond and we are stationed at TGK, the jail, for her when she comes out. We'll keep you posted. We're live in Medley, Rosh Lowe, Local 10.